Hey, we've had a fair amount of people ask us about that scrolling marquee that we've got on the screen there full of logos and how it's auto scrolling. You know, it's not a slider where you've got to hit a navigation button or the dots or arrows or anything like that. It just scrolls. I mean, by the way, none of these are actually links. You know, you can't, I mean, you can, you can, you can hover on it and you can stop it and change the direction or whatever you want to do with it. However, they're not links. You could have made these be links, but I'm going to show you how we did this. It is so easy and simple. You can easily replicate this on your own website. This is using pure native Elementor widgets. The first thing we had to do was in Canva, I had to go and collect some logos. So I've got seven logos here. Now, this logo over here, you can't really see until I give this a black background. It's basically the Elementor logo uh, that I got that you can either get from if you type Elemental Press Release on Google. You can do that for any company, really. Or you can just go and get the logo off the website, you know, right click, save as an image. Then what I did in Canva was just click on the image, go to edit image and go for background removal. By doing that, it completely removes the background. Now, this image here has no background. So when I save this as an image, I will save it as a transparent image, which I'll do for you right here. If I click download, there we go. Transparent background. That's what I do for all of them. But I don't just have um, Elemental here. If I click over here and give this a black, you will now see the Bricks logo. Now, the Bricks logo originally, okay, if I just go to edit image here and I go to see all, can you see how I've changed the contrast and the saturation? I am going to go here and reset it. That's what you normally see. So lots of the logos that I've got on here, like Code Snippet, Atrim, um, and others, they will have some color applied. Why did I go to the trouble of making them all saturated? Well, quite simply, because of this reason. And you can clearly see it. There's no other color jumping out at you or popping out the screen. We have a branded color scheme, other than the fact that our websites will have variation. I didn't want the logos to also replicate that as well. So by keeping it all kind of neutral, you know, 50 shades of gray kind of thing, yeah, it works for me. One thing I will mention though, um, before I downloaded these, I did make sure that my estate each of my logos was 150 by 50 height. I was going to be very prescriptive in how big they were. I wasn't going to, even though they look really big here, in actual honesty, they're only about this big. Look, when you get down to 100%, they're not big at all. Because I wanted to be very clear about the size of it and how I'm going to use it on my desktop and also for the mobile. But me, by me setting it at 150 pixels wide, I don't have to really resize for the mobile. You know, I don't have to add a copy of the image and I can get away with that. So it's pretty simple. Anyway, um, you do your images, you then uh, make sure you download them with a transparent background. You go to bulkresizephotos.com, convert them into a WebP, maintaining the transparent background, which that website will do for you. And then I upload them to my media library. So let's now go over to our website and see how we created it. Rather than create from scratch, I'm just gonna show you what I've already done because it's quicker and easier that way. We basically have a section, okay? That section is boxed and it's got a width of 1,100 because I was keeping everything into that size. Um, there is some padding of 60 on the top and bottom of that section. When we go to the container or the column, sorry, the column for this, okay, uh, there's nothing going on there, okay? There's nothing applied, it's just a column, right? I'm not doing anything fancy with that. Inside of that column, we have a heading. So you could add in whatever heading you want to have, you know, rather than just saying here are the companies we work for. This is a great way of saying this is what you do. So in the company, me and my partner, we've got joint 37 years of experience in all these areas, okay? However, um, if you want to say this is what we do, fine, but use this as a way to go, well, this is what we do, yeah? And here are the tools we use, for instance, something like that. Underneath, we then have the testimonial carousel. This is not the media carousel. This is not a slider. This is the testimonial carousel. And I have over here seven items. If I go to item one, okay, um, over here, you will notice now, and, and this is something you're just going to have to get your head around a little bit. I am not bringing through the image, okay? I'm actually adding in a little bit of code. And the code here is image source equals 
And when I've put the lo the like the web address for the image that sits in my media library, in this case, it's the WordPress logo that I've got here. And I've then been very clear over the width and height. I have found that when you add images into the testimonial carousel, sometimes it gets picked up by PageSpeed Insights about the size not being declared, even though you've made it very clear what it is. So I have found it was easier rather than me adding in a image. Instead, I dropped in this little bit of code here. It's up to you what you want to go for. I care about page speed insights and stuff like that. So I've gone and applied it. And that's what I did for every single one. Over here, number two, we've got the elemental logo now. It's a copy of the code. All you're doing is changing the logo name, right? So Atrium logo, Bertha logo, stuff like that. The other thing you will notice though for each of these is that I have then put in a name. So for WordPress, I've put the word Mentor Guru and I've typed it there, okay? Um, that's pretty plain and simple. That's all we did, okay? Well, that is all we did. Before I go on to the other settings, which are important, I'm just gonna mention, of course, I would have gone into the style and I would have done the style for the content, you know, the typography, you know, uh, the uppercase, the weighting and all of that. You can mess around and go with what works for you. By the way, the section had a black background as well, okay? Uh, it wasn't applied to the column, it was applied to the section. And because it's a transparent background, everything comes through. Now, here's the important bit, okay? Here's the really important bit. Well, there's two important bits. Here's the important bit number one. Uh, the testimonial carousel, the skin is default. The layout is image above, which was slightly irrelevant because I don't have the image there anyway, but I left it like that. The alignment is in the center. We're showing five slides. There are seven in total. There's five and the slides to scroll are one. However, don't be deceived by that because it's an automatic scroll. I'm not fussed about the whip. Now, the additional options, please pay attention to this. The pagination is set to none. I don't need the arrows. I don't need the dots at the bottom, okay? I just need it to be free flowing. It is on auto, sorry, I missed a bit. The transition is three and a half thousand. Now I have found between 3,000 to about 3,800 is okay. When you go below 3,000 or you go over 3,800, you might get a bit of a choppiness, but I find that like I go with three or three and a half, okay? And that's fine with me. Autoplay is basically on, but the autoplay speed is zero. Stay with me on this, it will make sense. Infinite loop. And then I've said pause on hover, pause on interaction. To be honest, there is no pause. You can make it stop by moving your mouse over and, and clicking to stop it. You can do that. But because there are no URL links here, I don't really need it to like pause on hover. Don't forget, if we go over to the slides, if we go to item one, none of these have got like a link or anything going anywhere. So I'm not fussed about that, okay? And you could drop in a hyperlink into there if you so want. Let's leave that. Let's get back to our options down here. Um, the image size is on full. Again, irrelevant because I'm using a bit of code rather than the actual image. And I've set it to be lazy load because yeah, I'm fine with the lazy load here. Here's the second really important thing. If we go to advanced and we go to custom CSS, this bit of the code is pretty, pretty important. Let me just show you what happens, right? If I, well, this code here is the one, and this will be in the description that you need to enter. Sorry, let me highlight it. You need to enter that to enable the auto scroll. I've used this code so many times in other tutorials and Zoe Tame, um, elemental guru expert, amazing, wonderful person. She came up with that code. I'm sure it's been used elsewhere as well, but I learned it off one of her tutorials and I use this a lot. You'll see this code repeated mega, mega many times. The other code I've also added in is this one here. Now, if I just copy this and I remove it, can you see what happens there? The name is now below the content. And no matter how much you adjust the gap or the spacing for the content and the image or, you know, stuff like that, it makes no difference. So I added in this little bit of code here. And what it does is bring it closer. If you want it to be even closer, you can do. And now it's overlapping. I found 30 worked fine with me. If you want to make it be uh, a bit more further away, you can do. Or you could just completely get rid of that negative and push it away even more. But then I would say just use the spacing styling that you got there. That 
is all it is. Now, you will probably say, well, it's not moving. It's not working. Don't be fooled by that because what happens in Elemental with a lot of carousels and sliders is nothing will actually look like it's working until you're now viewing it on preview. Or you might even have to go to your live website, but that's literally it. Look, it is just working. Um, and that is how you could create a moving logo testimonial carousel. Because mine is 1,100 for the width, it cuts off on the sides. If I'd made it full width, it would have gone across the screen. But then I'd probably have to add in more logos because it would very quickly repeat itself, right? Really quick and simple. I'm Imran Web Squad. And like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.